This tutorial is an exercise in relative addressing modes. Okay, again we're going to be using debug along with a little help from our calculator. Okay, so in debug I am going to again insert some instructions. So, and we're going to insert the instructions at 100. Okay, and I'm going to do just two. We are going to move the immediate value of 200 hex into BX. And then we are going to jump to the immediate address of 200. I hit return to finish entering and let's just review our registers. Always review registers. Okay, my IP is 100 and that's why I inserted my code at CS colon 100. So when I execute the next instruction, it's going to take 200 and put it in BX. BX is there. Okay? But well, I'm not so much interested in what it's going to do, um, but I'm also interested in how it's encoded. Okay? So now I'm going to display the contents of memory, and we're going to use the dump command, and we've always used it with dump and the data segment. This time I'm going to dump the code segment, Okay, so up here I'm as accessing code segment offset 100 as instructions. We're going to look at the same memory, same locations, but now we're going to view it simply as binary data, and that's going to let us see how that's encoded here. Um, hit enter. Oops. Hit enter. Okay. <laughs> And so now we see, okay, so instruction 100 is BB0002. So the 0002, if you do your little Indian, is, is the 0200. It's 200. So the first three bytes are BB, that's the opcode, and over here is 0200. Okay, so the next instruction is at 103, so that's 0, 1, 2, 3. The next instruction after our jump is 106, so the jump goes from 3, 4, 5. That's the jump instruction. Now, if we saw 200 over here and we get it here, that is absolute addressing. It's going to the address offset 200 in the data segment. What the jump is saying, go to address offset 200 in the code segment, but we don't see 0200, instead we see 00FF. Now, one thing, when we are about to execute the jump instruction, what is the IP? Remember, we're going to fetch the instruction from address 103. We update the IP, so it's going to be 106. Now, 106. What's FA? So over here on our calculator, if I show you, and if I go, um, what is it, 0106, just to be complete. So that's the address of the IP when we're about to execute the instruction. It's the address of the next instruction to be fetched. And if I add 00FA, and yes, you don't need the zeros, I'm just, I'm just being complete here. What we end up with is 200. Did you see what I did there? I took the relative offset from the current IP and that gives us the IP after the jump. So we want to go to address 200, but the way that it's done in relative addressing is you take the next instruction to be fetched, you add the delta, and that's where you get your final destination. Okay, so remember again it's it's 106 is the address of the next instruction plus FA and that will give you where you actually go. So let's just execute our code to confirm that. So we're about to execute the first instruction so afterwards BX is going to contain 200. 
BX contains 200, our IP is 103. We are now going to execute this. The only thing that will change in this instruction, the purpose of a jump instruction, is to change the IP. We want it to get to 200, so what inside of the CPU is going to fetch the instruction, the IP is going to up internally update to 106, it will add the offset of FA and magically the IP is updated to 200 because the purpose of a jump instruction is simply to change the IP to a new value. All the other registers are the same. So that's relative addressing in jump instructions. Thank you.